Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. While you're here, if you will hit the like. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. We're doing a uh, pop-up of about 25 lots of brooches. It'll either be, there's some that are single, some that have two, some that have five. And we'll have individual prices with the lot numbers, such as right here. I'll put them up and show you. If they've got a name, I'll tell you what the name is. This brooch is a pretty old brooch. Um, it's got a lot of bling along with the cream color. Uh, it's some kind of, I don't know, some kind of plastic celluloid, whatever kind of stuff. That's the back of it. The other part to this brooch lot is Pastelli name brand, name. It is a filigree like a daffodil. In perfect condition, there it is. The name is down here. So, lot number one, six dollars, and includes two pieces. So, just a second, let me take these off. Okay. All right, lot number two. It's going to be a whopping three dollars. Um, it has this really cute small brooch, a lot of bling, it's a flower, the back is open, it has lots of fire, no name brand on this one. Here is a seed bead and bugle bead, like a handmade flower, got rhinestones in the center. This is the back. And then we've got this silver tone one with lots of white rhinestones. So that lot two is three dollars. Boy, this reminds me of how I started. Lot three is going to be six dollars. It starts off with a JJ brooch. It is a little pig holding a heart that has a tear running from his eye. It is a JJ. It does have JJ down here. Here is a set of silver and gold little pigs together. Here is a little tack pen. That's a pig. There you go. <laughs> and here's a gold tone tack pen. So we've got we love pigs. Those four for six dollars. Just a second. John's too busy trying to sound like a pig rather than helping. Okay. Number four is going to be seven dollars. First up is a brooch. It's ceramic. It's got some pink tulips. There we go. Here's a brooch. It's made by not one Lucinda. It's just fuzzy. I don't know what's going on with it. Lucinda. Here is a flower that has multiple different colors of pink with some pink rhinestones. Dotson, please get out of here. And there's silver tone with some rhinestones and it's got some translucent yellow for the flowers. So number four is seven dollars. All you got to do is in the comments please put the number that you would like. It's going to go by the first person to put it down. It's going to be the winner. I will put in the comments that it is yours if you were the first commenter. Okay number five is eight dollars. First off, we've got this really cute enameled vintage brooch. It's 
got a faux pearl in the center. This is the back of it. We've got an Avon. It's the back of it. There it is. It has a pearl pink. Something's there. I don't know. I don't have a lot of room. I'll be putting that little mark there. Here is a light vintage one. It's gold tone with a faux pearl and black enamel. This is the back of it. And this one looks like pansies. They have faux pearls in the center and it does have a name brand of MT down here on the bottom. So it's got two named pieces. So these will be $8, lot number five. Lot number six. First one is like a copper look. It's a vintage one with orange rhinestones in the center. This is the back of it. It's a more of a vintage -y type. Here is a no name gold tone sunflower. And here's an older brown, kind of a cognac and kind of a whiskey color stones in it. This is the back. That's a really vintage one with those rivets like that. So you get those three for six dollars. The cat's meowing. All right, people that like critters, number seven for five dollars. You get a pink enamel blingy elephant. It's the back of him no name brand. You get an E tack pen that has an elephant on it. There's the elephant. You get a cloisonne type stick pen that is an elephant. It's a black elephant with a red mm, color. Lighting's not great. There you go. We're trying. And then another elephant will tack pin. So you get those four for five dollars. That's only a dollar and twenty-five cents a piece. Can't beat that. Number eight, six dollars. It has a Carousel horse uh, that's a tack pin, and the bottom of it has Indiana 94 to 95. This is it. Let me hold it up closer for you. That's it. And then this one does not have a name on it, but it should. It looks like pewter and gold tone with another carousel horse. These two. For six dollars, slot number eight. Okay. This next slot is lot number nine. It's going to be ten dollars, but it's well worth it. This is the back of the brooch. This is the front. This is a porcelain that is hand painted. And shades of greens and pinks. This is the back. It can also be used as a pendant and a brooch. This one is a transfer wear. And this one is marked West Germany over on this side here. It's an older brooch. It's hand painted also. There you go. And it's made of, it feels like porcelain or glass. Those three, lot number nine, for $10. Do for mm -hmm. Anything that's purchased now, 
we can add to your invoice for the Sunday night auction. This is number 10. It's going to be $8. It has a little tie-tack ladybug that's red and black. Or just a little tack pin ladybug. There's a green and black one. Here is a beautiful bug. Kind of reminds me of like a lightning bug. It has multi colors of rhinestones that up at the front. Looks like an opalite. It looks like it's trying to mimic um, a moonstone. It's got little pink eyes right in front of it. The behind has lavender. Lavender and green on the wings. There is orange and pink. Really pretty. This is a Monet full of bling. Has a ladybug on it. The bling's not get right out of focus. It has Monet in the center. Then we have, a, it's non-name brand. It's a snail. That's green enamel with a darker, kind of a gray green up top. Green eye, enamel here, gold tone. So you get a Monet, two little small like cloisonne pins, this beautiful vintagey one, and this snail, all for $8. The next one is number 11. It's $10. Starts off with some smaller ones. This whale says Illinois WA, I guess for Washington. 19, it's got 88 on it. No, it's Illinois WBA 88. We have a Jerry's turtle. Jerry's is up on the top. We have a little Krabby Crab I got from Devin. He's got green eyes and his claws move. We have got a little tack pin that's a turtle. We've got a little lobster. And we've got a vintage fish here. It's kind of like an angel fish. Gold brush, gold tone face. The body is porcelain um, painted. And it also has uh, crazing, the little crackling on it. And the name brand is Renee. Down here on the bottom, R-E-N-E. -E. So you're going to get... All of those as number 11 for $10. Number 12 is going to be $8. This beautiful shiny heart is Monet. Monet's up here at the top. This pen has a little like a tack pen back but it's like a beautiful ribbon with a shiny rhinestone in the center. This one has a regular brooch back with beautiful faux pearls in them. All of them are in excellent condition. Number 12 is $8. Number 13 is $12. You know, this gold and silver tone one that looks like um, wheat or weeds or whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have a name brand. This little small wreath of leaves is a Jerry's. There it is on the back. Here is a stick pen with what I believe is probably a little diamond chip. Let's see if I can get it down here. A little diamond chip up in the top of it. This one is Trifari. 
It's down here on the stand. And this beautiful silver tone in black is Napier. Napier's up here in the top. So you've got Napier, Trifari, Jerry's, no name but gorgeous, and a stick pin that has possibly a small little diamond in it. Number 13, $12. Number 14 is going to be $5. None of these have names. They're just beautiful brooches. Here's a gold tone one. That's the back. Here's the back of this. The front. Kind of a brushed metal. Here's the back of this one the front. It's got different textures and things on it. And here's the back of this one. Let me hook it back. It came undone. And there you go. So you've got four beautiful brooches for five dollars. That's number 14. It's only a dollar and a quarter a piece. This is great for resellers, collectors, I'm just trying to clear out some inventory. We've got number 15. Number 15 is going to start off with this one. This is kind of a light gold tone. It's lots of disc together. That's the back of it. And then we've got this one. That's the back of it. These two will be $3. Number 16 is going to be $6. First off, we have this really pretty swirled and textured one. It's a beautiful gold tone. That's the back of it. It's kind of like a question mark. Is that an Avon? Oh. Yeah. This one is an Avon. has a faux pearl. The name brand is right there. Then we've got this one, which is, I didn't see a name brand on it, but everything is great about it. So you get those three for $6. That's number 16. Number 17 is seven dollars. First one you get is a vintage, a more vintage one. Looks like one of those elephant leaves, elephant ear leaves, and it has a faux pearl in the center. There's no scratches on the faux pearl. This one is gold tone and cream. It can be used as a pendant also, and it's Kelly Waters. The name brand is right here. And then you have these white and gold tone leaves. Trifaris right there. So you get those three. Two are a name brand. One of them is a vintage one. Number 17 for $7. Number 18. $7. The first one does not have a name brand. It is just a gold tone one that has some shadowing in it to give it some good detail. There you go. And that's the back of it. And then this one is like a faux damascene. Let me get it to clear up. Hang on, it's a fan. Wow, people. It has like a city here, like a tower. And it has the silver, the white 
blacks, silvery white, the black, and the bronze. There it is. Really pretty. Those two for seven dollars. Number 19 is 12. It is a single brooch, but it is the name brand Emmons, which is uh, there underneath the pen piece does not have any problems with the gold loss and it kind of has little prisms these are acrylic but they're prisms and they have all its rhinestones so it's an Emmons brooch number 19 for twelve dollars number 20 for six dollars they are two tack or scatter pins. It is the JJ name brand. Back on the heel, right there you can see it. Looks like a pewter. I don't know that it's pewter. It looks pewter to me. A penny loafer. And a t-shirt with a pocket. Those two JJ brooches for six dollars. Number 20. Wow. Number 22, $7. These are scatter pins. Jerry's name brand. They're keys that have like a little acrylic green stone. I think it's made to look like jade. Jerry's is up here on the top. She get two of them. $7. Next one, number 22, $6. It is a Thunderbird. I can't say native. I'm going to say native inspired. It has a speckling of green and blue. I guess it's kind of like verdigris, made to look like verdigris because it's a copper pen. It's a copper brooch. So this is $6. Number 23 is $12. It is a Kenneth J. Lane. It's a high heel shoe. Green shoe that has calla lilies that are a peach color and a pink ribbon. It was done in conjunction with QVC for um, a fundraiser. And the fundraiser, it was for FFANY for Fanny, but they had shoes and things like that that they were selling to Kenneth J. Lane. There on the back is KJL. It's a really neat brooch. 23 for $12. We got two more. We're almost done. Number 24 for $8. And really I have stuff all over the board and everything is really, really reasonable. Mm. This has got the little tack back on it that I call. It's um the paint palette Avon. Avon's cartouche is right there. Okay. This is the 80s one. Looks very royal. Got the purples and the blues and greens and reds and the faux pearl in it. All like back when Madonna Day. It's got a brooch here. There is a little small spot here where some of the gold tones coming off there and there, but it's nothing that would, nothing on the front at all. And then I picked another one out. This is the back of it. This is the front. It's just kind of got the jewel tones. There is a clear brooch there. So you get all three of those for eight dollars. Number twenty-four. We got one more. This is number 25. It's going to be $12. $12, as you saw, I had a couple on there. $12 is the most I'm going to have. This is an Ultra Craft brooch. It's in the middle. It's, a, it's like a safari brooch. This is the 
This is the brooch. I'm going to kind of hold it up a little bit closer. See if we can get it to clear up. There we go. It's got elephants and lions and gosh. It's like that. And it has some little animals that dangle on the bottom. There is a hippo, a leopard or a panther, another hippo, a cheetah, it looks like to me, and a giraffe. Up in the body of it, there's antelopes and water buffaloes and lions and giraffes and a zebra and it's hard to get it. Let's see if I can pull this up just a little bit. There we go. It's a U-shaped and the, the little things hang down from it like that. There's the pin on the back. The pin does spin a little bit. The pin on the back does move a little bit. But that's the Ultra Craft. The only thing I... Huh? I'm looking at something. The only thing I do see is right in the center there, you can see some gray where they sorted the pin piece on, but I don't think it detracts from this at all. Very pretty. So that was number 25 for $12. If there's anything that you want here, put in the comments, put the number in. I don't care if you do five or ten comments. Just do one number per item you want or one comment per item you want and we'll get you taken care of. Um, we'll add this on to your Sunday night's invoice. Thank you. Have a good night. I promise I'm done doing videos tonight. We will be on tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for a Father's Day special. Good night. Good night, everybody.